Someone asked, um, when do you film the confessionals? Is it right after filming every episode or the day after? This question has been on my mind ever since I started watching Drag Race. Oh my God. It's the day after in the morning before you do anything. And like with us, like they, we couldn't even get coffee because there was too many people in the cast to do coffee, like orders and everything. And I was like, and like, I'm, I'm the type of person who like, I, like with my banking, I transfer like my pay from like one account to my card account. So like in the mornings, like I couldn't go to, like downstairs to the, um, to the, I forget what they're called, like the, the people that were helping us. I couldn't go that, to them with like my card and be like, hey, I can you give me coffee or uh, like, or anything. And so like the struggle of not having a coffee or even a cigarette um, and then just being like told to like to just sit down and remember the things that happened the day before and talk about in like present sense. Oh my God, impossible. I had to keep on asking them like, okay, can you start the conversation and I'll end it? <laughs> Yeah, I always thought, I, I've heard that from other people that they film it afterwards. And I always think that's such a weird thing to have to talk about something that you already know has happened as if you don't know what's happened. Yes. Like when people say, um, I'm going to stay in this lip sync, like I'm not going home, but you must know that you did go home. Yeah, exactly. And like, like um, with the season two kids, like um, like the ones that are like, uh, like faux fur, like she went home on the first episode, but like I, like I wish I could have like like told them like the the secrets of um that happened like on of season one. But like, I guess like they were just so focused on like staying tr um true to the uh, NDA and like not telling anyone, like not speaking about it, and um yeah, like she didn't even like ask about like what was going on. But like like you have to do this like make sure you got money for coffees each morning or something <laughs> take yeah, a diary definitely. with you <laughs> yeah it, it must it must be so difficult I think that's it's such a weird thing to have to do but I guess that's drag race right totally um so uh, someone else asked if you had been judging season one who would have been your top four queens Ooh. <sighs> I think it would have been the same, but if um, if art didn't come back, I thought et cetera would have been there. That's a fair show. That was a shock as well. Bloody Maxie sending home um, et cetera. Camp. And I remember like backstage, um, et cetera was like, um, like I'll pray for anyone um, who gets put in the bottom with me with absolutely everybody because that's one of my regular numbers and I do that all the time. So like, be careful. <laughs> she was so cocky about it. And then she gets on with Maxi and Maxi pulls out a microphone like, you're done. <laughs> yeah, it was the, the the microphone bit was so funny. And when she pulled the microphone, I was like, yeah, she's staying. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, totally. Um, someone else asked, um, were there any reads that you had prepared for the reading challenge that you would have used if you'd made it? Not really. I, I, one of like the only ones that I could think of would have been for um, Kidamine. And it just would have been, um, hey, Kidamine, I love doing Whale Rider, <laughs> which is like some <laughs> New Zealand um, movie, like about like a kid and like this whale. Oh, actually, it's been so long since I watched it. I think I watched it for like year seven English and yeah, very traumatic. <laughs> um, um, someone else asked, did appearing on Drag Race Down Under live up to your expectations? I, well, like the thing is I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any expectations and I definitely didn't know what to expect. Um, but like afterwards, I guess like my life has changed so much because like, before going on Drag Race, I hadn't traveled around Australia. I hadn't done, yeah, like drags, like drag in like different states. And now, um, like I've been to Melbourne, I've been to Perth, I've been to Brisbane, um, and I've been to Adelaide in South Australia. I don't know if there's any other states. Oh, actually, I haven't been to Tasmania, <laughs> but um, and I I I, I went to um Brazil for Sao Paulo Pride this year. And like, I'd like that definitely wouldn't have happened if I didn't go on Drag Race. And it's just such a, 
a crazy thing that like, just because I was on this TV show and I didn't even like, I didn't even win. But like afterwards, I guess like being on the show is winning because without the show, I wouldn't have been like on people's radars, like to like to get me to go to do these places and get to do what I love doing most. Definitely. I think it, it clearly opens doors for you that wouldn't have opened otherwise. And I think that's obviously great. And it definitely, RuPaul's Drag Race has created so many careers, not only for the Queens, but also anyone that works for you, people like me that have channels about it, like we all benefit from it. So yeah, that's nuts. Um, <clears throat> someone else asked, would you ever return for an All Stars? I totally would. I feel like the first time's like always a little bit like, like touch and go. But like now I kind of like know how it like all kind of works. I reckon I could, I definitely wouldn't be so shy. <laughs> I'd um, definitely go in more prepared if like my, um, my costume maker isn't too busy with Maxi's outfits. Um, I'd have a full team of people ready to go. And yeah, I just, I'm just waiting for the phone call. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we'd, love to, <laughs> we'd love to see you on All's Done. And I think definitely that point about this, the first time was almost like the warm up. And let's hope that if you get um, an All Stars, that would kind of be where you actually get to show your real side because you've kind of got used to it a bit more. Totally. I mean, I, I don't have the All Stars face yet, but we're still working on it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of filler, or that, you know. <laughs> mm. Come on, All Stars. <laughs> So true. <laughs> and so obviously speaking of eliminations, there is a rumor uh, that I wanted to address with you. So obviously, as we know, Art Simone came back unexpectedly into the competition in season um, episode four, which was the episode yeah. that you were there. And obviously people didn't really understand why she was brought back and not you, because obviously you technically had a better track record than she did. There's a rumor that apparently they lost the footage of her elimination and your lip sync. So you had to redo your lip sync. Can you confirm or deny? Yeah, we did. Um, and like, I remember like being in that like awful Airbnb and um, Jojo and I like went out for dinner and I was like, where's Art? Like, have you heard from her? And, and he's like, oh no, wait, with the lip sync. Okay. Um, they had messaged me saying that they had lost the audio, I think it was. So we had to refilm the whole thing together. 